Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at one of Cape Town's best beaches, Boulder Beach. And if you stick around all the way to the end, I will let you in on a secret local slash hidden gem that you don't want to miss. If you're new here, my name is Amy. I'm a full-time traveler who spent over seven months in Cape Town. So I can't wait to show you some hidden gems and explain a little bit more about this beach. Boulder's Beach is a penguin colony in Simonstown, which is about a half hour drive from Cape Town. The African penguins settled there in 1982, and while they're an endangered species, it's gone from around 1,000 to 3,000 birds in recent years. The best time to visit is between January and August because between September and November, they're usually out in the sea looking for food. However, I've been in November and had no problem seeing the penguins. If you do decide to go, make sure you go during low tide if possible. That way you have a bigger stretch of beach to hang out and chill with the penguins. While there are a few different good options for public transportation, I would definitely go with Uber or Bolt or drive on your own. If you're driving on your own, it will be a little bit tricky sometimes to find parking, especially during high season, but don't let that stop you. You can always find a different place to park. And you also have the option of using an Uber, which is pretty affordable, especially if you're sharing it with a group of people. And if you're going solo, there is an option to do a hop on hop off bus type situation. And I will leave it right here for you in case you're wondering what it is. The only downfall for that is that you don't have that much time at the beach. It's kind of a quick stop on a tour of other things. So keep that in mind. When you arrive, there are gonna be a few different ticket options. And the first one that you'll probably see if you get to the car park is an option to walk down a path and see the penguins from above. I don't recommend doing this. I actually recommend walking to the right of the car park down a trail along the coast, and that will take you to a beach access. From that point, you can get tickets and they usually cost around 190 Rand at the time of recording for tourists. If you're from South Africa, the price is much lower. I don't have the exact number at the moment, but I'll try to find it for you. The beach itself is actually separated by different boulders, so you might have to work your way through them during low tide to make your way to the end of the beach. I'd recommend going all the way to the end because during high season, it's gonna be busy no matter which day you go. But if you go early in the morning and find a time at low tide, that's gonna be key. One thing to caution you on is that they might bite you, so be careful because my friend was walking past and got a little too close and it nipped her on the leg, which isn't something to be worried about, but just stay away because you don't want to interact too closely with these animals because they are wild animals. When you're actually swimming in the water, the penguins will probably swim past you and it's so cute, especially just seeing them waddling around. It's really adorable, but once again, leave them be, let them do their thing and enjoy them. You can honestly spend an entire day here because it's so fun and so cool to just see these penguins waddling past you, going on the rocks. So make sure you bring a camera. Here are some of my favorite photos that I got from the day. Now, as promised, I have a local gem that you might not know about and it's called Windmill Beach. If you don't want to go through all the crowds and have to pay for the beach to see the penguins, Windmill is a great option. So this beach is right down the street and it still gets busy, but it's not usually as bad Plus you don't have to pay. And as a little pro tip, if you walk to the left of the beach over a little sand hill, you'll get a little secluded area, which does get covered with water during high tide, but during low tide, you can chill on the beach or you can move up onto the rocks when the waves come up. So that's all on Boulder's Beach. I hope you get a chance to visit one day. It's a spectacular beach and where else do you have the opportunity to see penguins up close and personal like this? Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see some other Cape Town content, you can find it here and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!